are here with Jack Suarez, known for such things like. Hey, GoPro, play Mariah Carey. I don't know if that was. Oh, that was on the Brian Good. Ruby video. Yep, that made the video. Catching this uh, nice sunrise, fishing a top secret location. Don't show them the oh. Skyway. Yeah, Skyway. Don't don't look at that. Just gonna take in the sunrise, and then we're gonna go. What the hell are we gonna go do? Black drum. Black drum. You're gonna catch some black drum today. Mackerel. All right. And sea trout. Perfect. Sounds like things I don't want to do at all. <laughs> Top three things I hate in life. <laughs> One thing to know about me fishing is I'm very easy to distract. You can just point over there at a bunch of fish jumping, busting the surface, and I want to fish them. I don't really care what it is. Jack was like, hey man, let's not chase those types of squirrels today. Let's focus, get some redfish, get some snook, have a good day. Uh, no mackerel. I said, all right, that's fine. We can do what you want to do. And then this happened. Why do we just stop out of nowhere, dude? We were full speed, somewhere between 29 and 64 miles an hour and a mackerel shot straight up looked at me and dove right back down with the perfect mackerel setup I, yeah still have thirty dollars worth of juice. oh there you go he's out there he just ate all the bait up on top <clears throat> there's one there he is see him yep i don't know if i got that because i was about to get your shirt and say tell the tape champion here jack suarez Oh, mighty have fallen. Now I'm out here with the silly willy mackerel fishing. All right, well, we've got 60% left on the drone, so whatever you want to do, you know, we're getting all our drone footage in right now. Lock that drone up, let's catch bait, and then roll that back when we have redfish. All right. Yeah, first fish of the day, we on ripped artificial. Triple tail for sure. I think it's a big jack. That was a pretty awesome eat. Too bad I didn't have the camera on. He, no, he ripped it right on top. Yep, big old jack. Well, not big old jack, but good jack. Nice size uh, jack crevail to start the day. All right, we got us a jack crevail, a little top water crevail action. See you. Catching jacks with Jack. <laughs> All right, enough distraction. Then we went, quickly got some bait, and then we got to the real fish. Guys on the outskirts. So we got bait. Jack, is that the biggest snook you caught today? It is not. My cameraman was a little tardy on the last one. How big was the last one? 31, 32. Girthy. Yeah, she was fat. I was busy netting, doing everything else. What do I look like, a YouTuber? I right, am like this, now, I go now to get sleep. Him a, get him a super stretch out See? there, you know? and go to sleep. Yep. Need help? Nah. I'm a trained pretend YouTuber, remember? You want me to get you a double up? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I'm aimed right at you for this. Three, two. Oh, yeah, he was sitting under it. See that bait right here darting around. Pretty little snooky. The release. It's the beauty of the little guys, you can just kind of chuck them back. Feisty. Are you yeah. nose hooking? They seem yeah. to like the nose. I'm belly. Uh -oh. gills. Yeah, it was. Now I'm I nose hooked and got hit twice. Oh. <laughs> One just swung and missed on mine. And your and yours left mine. I was like, yeah, fuck you. Oh, there it is. Damn, we almost just had a double if he missed. He ate yours. You need a net? Netter or no? Slot. Set in a netter. Oh, I'm on too. Or I tangled with you. Yeah, I think I'm tangled with you. Nope, I got a new one. Broke me off. <laughs> This is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. I mean, 25 plus at least. Eh, 25-ish. Who? 25-ish, 25 probably. 
They're good. <laughs> I'm finally recording. I think I turned it off the first time. Hey. It's almost like a makeup for the time that I uh, didn't record yours, so you get to hold mine. See you, buddy. See you, dude. <laughs> See you, dude. We're going to get Brent Shermer out here. Let's go. So we decided to head back to the backcountry and try to get some snook and redfish. Along the way, we ran into Captain Eric Pelno with Tampa Bay Flats Fishing, who graciously hooked us up with some more bait since we wasted so many of ours trying to catch snook. Captain Pelno is one of the go-to guys for the upper Tampa Bay area, and he is absolutely on the fish 24-7, getting inshore slams all the time. Definitely check him out in the description below if you want to get on a charter. All right, it is time for your lunch break update with Jack Suarez. So my cameraman, Michael Ortega, decided not to record uh, any footage of the snook, or did you? Did you get any? Uh, your big one, though. No. I got your small ones. Thank you. Why would I get the big so one? So we had a uh, 30 plus, probably 30 ones. Yeah, I was guessing 32. I mean, you're the one that had them in your hands in the boat. You could have measured them. You could have kept them in the deck while I, I mean, grabbed no the need, camera. I, mean, I know I'm within an inch. But you, you know. Either just, way. You just, you just threw them back yeah, in the water. He was 30 or 31. Hey, remember that time I didn't turn it on when you just caught a snook? So it makes it look like I catch all the fish? Yeah, I remember that. Little snooklet. Where'd these uh, reds go? All right, gotta get a video for the league. You on? Woo, he gone. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but if you hold them this way, they freeze. Oh, you know what? Someone actually told me that earlier today on this video. Later, brother. Senor Suarez. Yo, you know what? Why change the hook when you can just change the rod? Oh, what kind of rod are you using right now? I'm using a Red Lion. Why use your uh, Season 4 NDP rod when you can use your Season 3 MVP Red Lion rod? Wow. MVP. MVP. That's what we're here for. Nice little red. Fought hard. Gone. All right, we're gonna get some footage of Jack fighting fish because every time he lands a fish, I never have the GoPro on me. So well, you're gonna get the smallest fish of the day. <laughs> hey, remember that big slick you caught earlier? That thank God. Quick release. Remember that big slick you caught earlier? No. Good thing we didn't get that on film. Hey. That would have made it look like you were a better fisherman than me. It was a me. fun fight. Quick release. I mean, it was a tense fight. That's why I didn't get the camera. I was getting the. You're right. I was getting the net. I'm glad you grabbed the net. In close the quarters. That's what friends are for. Yep. Sport <laughs> fishing. Where's Kayvon at? Classic sport fish move. <laughs> Classic. 
What's that, like snook number six for you on the day? Seven? Like second on camera. Tell us a little something about these snook. So, <laughs> so if you hold them like this, they uh, go completely docile. How did I know that was what we were going to learn? Here we are, just a little bit closer to the bushes. <laughs> As we've been, oh, oh God! Whoa, whoa. What did we just Slow spook right down, there? Sir. Oh, whatever the hell just got spooked out of there. Sport fish Hold on, I got a bad angle over here. You're not giving me no. Oh. Did you know oh, <laughs> that man that males are snook when they're this small? Is that the only fact you know about snook? That's it. That's it. Release. Do it dismount. Give it a five. Also, they fray up that leader. You're a little close. No, there no, no. Go. That's about perfect. No, I'm <laughs> yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm definitely good. want the knuckles. All right, we're going to see if we can't perform a little double up for the camera here. Jack's on a snooky. Am I? I just threw a big old fat thread fin in there. He's going to get smoked. A little 22. Don't mind me, I'm just spitting out all the scales. Oh, yeah, but... 20, 21 maybe? You're so after we caught enough snook and a couple small reds, we decided to call it a day. We stopped at the ramp one more time trying to see if we could uh, go ahead and get some of the bigger snook to bite again, but no luck, just a couple of small ones. If you like this style of video, please be sure to let us know in the comments below so we can make more like it. I uh, hope to be bringing you more good content like this, more of these voiceovers, more drone shots, all that good stuff here in the uh, near future. So please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll do our best to keep putting out good content. Thank you. Have a good day.